Well, I think the key thing there about inflation is that, you know, we're used to saying, well, it's all about the output gap. And we've had this global output gap because we've been able to trade internationally. As we go into a world that is more focused on self-sufficiency and uh, individual countries' needs, as we're seeing in the UK or the US, um, you know, then the local output gap becomes more important and supply chain and cost structures become more important, Karen. And also, if the dollar does come down, that tends to lead to higher commodity prices and higher costs around the world. So for us, the type of market that you've got at the moment, which is very exposed and very dependent on uh, low inflation and the regime of the last decade, then you're going to be totally inappropriately positioned. And you want to be much more to things like basic resources, commodities, um, those kind of areas, rather than uh, the, uh, the tech stocks that people have been so exposed to recently. You also point out banks versus tech, and we've just not seen that theme on markets. And banks, uh, particularly if you look at the European course, despite all consolidation activity in the backdrop, hasn't really caught a bid. So what you're suggesting is that you could see a shift into some of these areas of the market. Yeah, well, the uh, globally technology has outperformed banks by 98% this year. And, you know, that's what we saw going into the uh, the 2000 meltdown for tech. You know, it's what we've seen in e e each of the two previous recessions. But coming out of those recessions, even after the GFC, banks outperformed tech. And, you know, so we think there's both a cyclical story, a valuation story. And as you say, Karen, you know, this consolidation theme that we think will begin to come through very aggressively uh, in the eurozone. And remember that the yield curve is steepening. It's just not the twos, tens, it's the fives, thirties. So we're saying to people, look, watch the, these underlying trends. There is a broadening of the global recovery. There is a need for these governments to have a credit cycle reemerge, and they're going to need to depend on the banks, not the global uh, securities markets to do that. So all of those things, we think, point towards some of this rotation over the next 12 months.